So I just launched a brand new Shopify store right now in Q4. And today I'll be breaking down the entire strategy I used along with the results after seven days. And trust me, you're going to be very, very surprised. Now I'm actually still running this store so I won't be able to share the product with you. However, I will be sharing the niche, exactly how I found the product, the supplier I'm using and how I set up the ads. I literally built the entire store and launched the ads in under three hours. And today I want to show you how you can do the same by using all of the shortcuts that I'll be sharing with you. And now as much as I would love to share the product with you guys today, it's unfortunately going to be very difficult for me to do that because like I said, I am actually still running this product right now and I see tremendous potential with this product. I see it doing easily, easily over six figures over the next few weeks and I'm here to make money just like you guys. So if I share this product with you guys right now, everybody's just gonna jump on it, it's gonna saturate it and no one's gonna make money because it's just gonna drive the ad cost very, very high for everybody. However, I'm gonna be showing you guys the exact niche and how I found the product, okay? So with that being said, let's not waste any time. We're basically in Q4. You literally only have a few more weeks left. I started this store literally just a few days ago, so there's still time to get this done, okay? Just because Q4 is almost done does not mean you can't make a lot of money, okay? In these next four weeks, this is literally when you will make the most amount of money dropshipping, okay? This is like literally the finish line right here. Over the next few weeks, this is when people are rushing online to make that final purchase, and right now is when you can make a ton of money okay so let's jump into my screen over here and we're gonna start with product research and I'm gonna show you guys step by step literally how I came about to find this product okay so the tool I'm gonna be using is called Menea and I'm sure you guys have seen me talk about this tool before it's literally my favorite tool to find winning products because again it continues to help me find winning product after winning product okay if you are interested in checking out Menea you can use the link in my description below to get a discount okay so with that what we're gonna do once you're inside of Manea, we're gonna go into ads over here, okay? So again, this is just showing us all of the ads that are currently running on Facebook right now. Because we're in Q4, what I did was I came into Manea and I came in with a strategy, a goal, okay? I'm trying to figure out what are people buying right now? And obviously I have experience, okay? So I know for a fact right now people are buying personalized gifts, okay? And that's literally one of my favorite niches. I talk about this niche all the time. Personalized gifts is one of the best niches right now in Q4 because it's unique, it has a high perceived value, you can charge a lot of money for it, and there's suppliers in the US that will ship the product right away for you within just one to two days, okay? So it's literally like a no-brainer type of niche right now, especially if you're trying to make some quick cash, okay? So literally, all I did was I just came to Facebook. For the dates, I kind of left it empty. Just for the call to actions, I changed it to Shop Now, so we'll do that. And then e-commerce platforms, I put Shopify. Now for targeting audience, I left this empty as well. For the engagement, Engagement. This is where I played around a little bit. For the comments, I put medium engagement. So this is just gonna show me all of the ads that are running right now that have between 50 to 500 comments, okay? So this is just gonna show me and tell me that there's at least some sort of demand right now, right? So that's one of my favorite filters to use. And then I basically leave everything else the same, okay? However, up here where it says search, this is where the magic actually happens, okay? So over here, this is where I would write something like custom, okay? Because now it's gonna show me ads with the word custom inside of it, okay? So as you can see here, now we can see a ton of ads that are killing it right now that are personalized gifts right now. So we can see this was created November 8th. This was literally created two weeks ago. It has over 2,000 likes, 200 comments, 216 shares. And all it is is a mug and it says, I wish we lived closer together. So I'm just gonna open this in another tab just so we can have a closer look. And as you can see, like creating this ad does not take any work at all. Like they literally just took the mug, um, probably used some AI tool, like, you know, essentially to generate this. They didn't have to use a UGC creator, they didn't have to use all these crazy AI tools, literally very quick to get this stuff up and running, okay? So it's been running literally since November 8th, like I said, absolutely killing it, 2,000 likes, okay? 200 comments, obviously they're doing very well with this product, they're scaling it, okay? So that's kind of what we're looking for, okay? Now if we scroll down over here, another one over here, 3,000 likes, this was created the day before, okay? November 7th, you know, this is basically an ugly Christmas sweater, okay? Absolutely killing it right now, okay? So this is the niche that we want to be in, this is the niche we want to be in personalized
personalized gifts. There's just a ton of ideas over here. Now, your goal is to go niche within the personalized niche, if that makes sense, okay? So personalized gifts is a niche, and then there's a niche within the niche. So over here, there's a cat mom, okay? So this is a niche, right? Cats is a niche, right? So over here, what you're gonna be doing is targeting cat moms, people that own cats, people that like cats. Over here, it's the opposite. Here, it's dogs, right? People that like dogs, people that have a dog, love dogs, whatever the case is. So you're targeting a niche within a niche. And this is great because it makes it very easy to target our ideal audience later on when it comes to creating our Facebook ads or our TikTok ads. So for example, if we click on this product over here, so this one's been running a little bit longer since October 25th, but still, it's literally only been running for a month. So it's been doing pretty well as well, about 2,000 likes. So as you can see here, this is basically a pajama set that says best dog mom ever with a picture of a dog, okay? Now, this is where everybody goes wrong and this is where everybody messes up, okay? They see something like this, they see that it's doing well, and then they just replicate it. They just rip the whole thing off, okay? That's not what you want to do because if you just rip the entire design, you rip everything the exact same, it's just not going to work, okay? Facebook and you know these platforms are just too smart. If you're just gonna be a replica, it's just not gonna work. Your ads are just not gonna perform. So what I like to do is I like to you know just see what's working and then I like to get inspired to go find something that's similar, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go to Etsy and inside of Etsy, I'll search for something similar, okay? So I'll search for personalized dog gifts or let's see pajamas here. All right, now it's gonna give us a ton of other options that we could actually go with, okay? So instead of selling this one, which is what literally is being sold right now on Facebook, this one is best dog dad ever, okay? And as you can see, even Etsy right here is saying popular now, okay? So you can actually just switch it. Instead of this one that says best dog mom ever, you could actually just sell the opposite, which is best dog dad ever, okay? So that's just one way of being different. It's the same design, but now you're just gonna target dads instead of moms, okay? So that's just one way of making the design design more unique and different, something that the audiences haven't seen before. And then you can scroll down and just look at other things as well. Over here, they just have names. You know, they have basically the picture of the dog and then names under it as well. So that's another option, you know, different designs, different styles. That's what you want to do. And over here, they have basically photos of the kids instead of the dog. Again, it just keeps, you know, when you go to Etsy, it just keeps giving you other ideas, different ideas. So basically over here, it says best dad ever. I think the other one was best dog dad ever, you know, whereas over here, it's literally just best dad ever. So now we're outside the dog niche. So now we're just targeting basically dads, okay? And then what's cool about this product is that, you know, the customer can upload all of the photos of their kids, okay? And again, this is popular right now. 17 people bought this in the last 24 hours. It's in demand, it's a funny gift, it's a gag gift. It's a great gift to give right now during the holiday season. You put this as an ad in front of people and, you know, people will start laughing, people will start sharing it on Facebook, sharing it on TikTok. You know, it starts building hype and that's how you start making a ton of sales, okay? It ends up going viral and you end up making a lot of money. So this is basically what you want to be looking for when it comes to product research, okay? If you want to make money right now in Q4 within the next three to four weeks, these are the type of products that are going to help you get there, okay? They're extremely easy to sell. There's suppliers available in the US. You could basically keep selling them till about two or three days before Christmas because again, the suppliers are in the US and they can ship your orders extremely quickly and they're the lowest risk products to test right now, okay? Because people are looking for gifts, okay? You're not gonna go and test some random kitchen product or some random baby product right now. This is what's gonna make you money right now. And I know that for a fact because I am doing it right now, okay? That is the product research method. That is the exact niche that I'm in right now. And I basically highlighted the exact types of products that I'm in right now. Now, once you've chosen a product, once you've chosen a design, you're going to need to quickly create a website, okay? And if you know how to quickly put together a website, that's great, go ahead and do that. If you don't, if you don't really have the experience, then I highly recommend using the service that my team and I have going on right now. So basically my team and I will build you a sales driven e-commerce store and deliver it into your inbox within just 24 hours, okay? So this is basically the exact same store, design, templates, themes, everything that I'm using right now on my own store that I just started running a couple days ago. And the biggest roadblock I see with a ton of beginners is that they spend way too much time on the website, okay? And with only three to four weeks left in Q4, you literally have zero time to waste, okay? You can't spend two, three, four days building, creating your website, trying to test it out, trying to make sure the theme is right. You don't have time for that, okay? There's literally three to four weeks left to make money, okay? So just click the link below, let my team and I take the website design part off of your plate and we'll have a beautifully stunning store designed, built, and delivered to you within just 24 hours, okay? Now once that's done and you have your product and your store, you're going to need a supplier, okay? And the supplier that I highly recommend using 
is Zendrop. So Zendrop actually just released their print on demand catalog, okay? So before Zendrop was only doing traditional dropshipping products, but now they're doing print on demand products as well, which is super, super cool, okay? So again, Zendrop is a US based supplier, okay? So they're gonna be able to get these products out for you very, very quickly. And as you can see, they have a ton of different, you know, print on demand products that you can actually sell. I think there's hundreds, if not thousands of products that you could, you know, potentially sell here. And what's cool is that you could basically just click on the start design button over here. And then from here, you can start designing your product, okay? So you have the front, and this is where you'll upload your design. So this is the design that you find on Etsy or that you find on Facebook, wherever it is that design you find, you just get it to a designer, you know, a cheap designer from Fiverr or from Upwork, they'll get the PNG design for you, the PNG file, and then you can upload it over here. And then same thing goes for the back. You can upload a design on the back if you wanted to for this specific product. And then you also have the inside label. So this is the inside label, which is super cool that you can actually customize. And same thing, you also have the outside label as well. You could choose all the colors that you want to sell, all the sizes, and they just make it super, super easy, okay? And then you'll just click on create product, it gets pushed automatically to your Shopify store. And then from there, you can start selling that product. And then as soon as you get an order, Zendrop will go out and fulfill that order for you within just one to three days, okay? So it makes it super, super easy to get started. You have a reliable supplier and you can keep selling basically up until Christmas, okay? So you still have quite a bit of time to sell and actually be able to make a decent amount of cash. Okay, so now that we have our product, our website, and a supplier all taken care of, we have the logistical part out of the way, okay? So the next step from here is to start creating ads and to start launching our ads, okay? Now, what's cool about print-on-demand products and personalized products is that you don't need to go out and create these crazy edited videos. You don't need to hire UGC creators. You don't need to even create a video ad. What I do is I just run image ads, okay? Because with personalized products, as you can see, the image tells the entire story. The image explains perfectly what your product is, what it does, who it's for, and what the customer can do, okay? So for example, this image, you can see over here. So they have the images of the kids, and then they have this arrow over here that shows that they can basically upload this onto these pants over here, and they can customize their own, and it says best dad ever, okay? And from my own personal experience, this actually works a lot better than video ads, okay? Because this literally explains everything in an instant. Like within a few seconds, your customer knows what, you know, essentially what this product is, right? Whereas a video, you're gonna have a UGC creator, they're gonna come in, they're gonna talk about the product. It's just gonna be dragged out for so much longer, and it's just gonna be very, very unnecessary, okay? So when it comes to creating the ads, it's very easy, right? All you need to do is right click, click on save image ads, download the image to your computer, and then all you would do is have your designer just change the design here. So if you found a different design on Etsy or Pinterest or wherever you found a design, you would have your designer just upload that design over here on the pants instead. And then from there, you could literally just start running this image as an ad, okay? So there isn't anything crazy to do here, right? And that's what makes this so powerful. And that's why I love this niche and that's why it's working so well because you're able to get up and running very, very quickly, okay? Again, you don't need to you know, hire videographers and UGC creators and all this crazy stuff. All you need to do is have an image, upload it to Facebook, and you're ready to start running ads, okay? And these are the images that I recommend running as an ad, okay? So I wouldn't recommend just a white background. You wanna have some sort of lifestyle of, you know, background, like over here you have the couch, the table, the plant, that kind of stuff. It just makes it look a little bit more real and just converts better based on my experience. Or you can come back over here into Etsy and just find a different shot. So let's say you like this one more or this one if you're selling, you know, maybe for matching for the whole family. Whatever it is, whatever image you wanna use, just download it and have your designer just use your own design, put it on that specific, you know, image and then you'll be able to start running it as an ad. The most important thing here is you don't wanna waste time, okay? You wanna move fast, you wanna make your decisions fast and you wanna get those ads up and running as soon as possible. All right, so now before I get into actually showing you how to create your ads, I'm gonna quickly show you the results of this store, okay, that I literally just started running, okay? So as you can see, today we've gotten two orders, we've done $240 in sales, so that's great because obviously this is a higher ticket product, so only two orders has already gotten me $240 in sales, and our conversion rate is looking really, really good today so far, okay? But if I'm gonna go over here, I started the store on Tuesday, okay? So Tuesday we started the store, and up until here, the 25th, which is today. As you can see, actually I'm gonna go a little bit further, just so you guys can see. 
So as you can see, the store was dead. It was a literally brand new store, there was nothing. And then on the 19th, I started running the ads. And as you can see, this is where we started to actually make some sales, okay? So we started, on the first day, we did about $168 in sales, and then up to $653, and then we went down a bit. On that specific day, I had a little bit of issues with the ads, and then we went up a bit, again, to about $1,500 a day in sales. We went back down, again, issues with the ads, but it's not really issues. I'm gonna explain that a little bit more when I get to the ad results in a little bit. It's not really issues, it's just Facebook and I'm gonna again I'm just gonna explain that in a little bit and then today we're about $240 in sales it's only about 9 30 a.m. on the East Coast right now I'm in Dubai so it's like over here I know you know my background is dark but we're going based on the East Coast because I'm selling this in the US okay so basically in about five days you know from the 19th till today uh, we've done about $4,600 in sales with a 2.63 percent conversion rate which is really really good okay so these are the front end results and they're very, very promising, okay? So my goal is to really start scaling this going into Black Friday. Today's the 25th, Black Friday is gonna be this Friday. So my goal is to really push the ads to get the store to between five to 10 grand a day by Friday, okay? All right, so now going back to the ads, okay? Before I show you guys the results of the ads and kind of what to look for and what to do, what not to do, I'm quickly gonna show you guys how I actually ran my campaign, okay? And it's extremely, extremely simple, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on create over here and then we're gonna choose sales and then we're gonna click on continue and then we're gonna choose manual sales campaign again we're gonna click on continue and then we're gonna give the campaign a name however I'm not gonna spend too much time on this I just want to show you guys kind of how I actually built the campaign so here you're just gonna give your campaign a name and then we're gonna scroll down I don't touch anything else okay I just keep everything else the exact same and then we'll click on next and then same thing for the ad set we're gonna give our ad set a name uh, whatever that name is and then for conversion location you want to make sure you choose website and then for performance goal we're gonna choose maximize number of conversions for data set you're gonna make sure you're gonna choose your website's pixel conversion event we're gonna make sure we choose purchase and then scroll down the budget I personally started with a higher budget because again there's not much time left and I need to get data in as soon as possible and as quickly as possible okay so I started with a $200 a day budget because I wanted data very very quickly okay now if you don't have that budget now again it doesn't mean you necessarily have have to spend the entire $200 every single day, okay? So as soon as you start running the ad, even if you put $200 in, the first 20, 30, 40, $50, you'll be able to tell whether this is an ad that should keep running or that you should actually turn off, okay? And if you watch my previous video or the video before that, I'll have it linked somewhere over here, I actually go into when you should actually kill your ad set, kill your ad, or keep it running, okay? So what I recommend is starting with a higher budget just so that we can get data a lot quicker, okay? So in this case, you know, I'm just gonna write $200 here. Start date, what I like to do is I like to start it for the next morning, or if you're already in the morning, you can, you know, basically start it right in the morning. So between, you know, 9 a.m., I would say it's the cutoff. I wouldn't really run it past 9 a.m., or you just reschedule it for the next day for 6 a.m., okay? And then for location over here, you're just gonna choose a location where you wanna run your ad. I'm personally only running it in the United States, so we'll just click United States over here, and then we'll get rid of Canada, and then scroll down. And then where it says Advantage Plus Audience, you're just gonna click on Switch to Original Audience, and then we're gonna click on use original audience and then over here this is super super easy you don't have to do too much age gender we keep it the same for advanced detail targeting you're just gonna choose the main niche of your product okay so let's say you decided to go in the dog niche you're just gonna write dog and then literally that's it okay and then you're just gonna choose that one and then under audience definition you just want to make sure it's a big number so here's 77 million which is great ideally you want to be 10 million and above okay so if you can't get up to 10 million with one interest then you can just combine interest so just add another interest that's very similar to your niche okay and that's literally all you're gonna do okay and then we're gonna scroll down placements can stay the same and then we're gonna click on next and this is where we're actually gonna set up our ad okay so for ad setup we're gonna choose create ad then we're gonna do manual upload and then single image or video you're gonna deselect multi advertiser ads and then we're gonna click on setup creative we're gonna choose image ad and then over here you're gonna click on media and this is where you're actually gonna upload your image ad okay so whatever image with your design you're gonna make sure you upload that and then you're gonna enter your website URL over here and then you're gonna scroll down and then you're basically done and you're just gonna click publish okay now once you click publish Facebook's just quickly gonna review your ads and then they'll start delivering within a few hours now if you schedule it for the next day it'll start running on the next day okay and that's literally how you set up the Facebook ad campaign okay so it's super super easy nothing is complicated about this okay it's very straightforward very to the point we don't need to overcomplicate this okay now we're gonna jump into my campaigns results 
for my specific store and my specific product, okay? Just so I can show you guys kind of what to look out for. Okay, so now getting into my campaign and into my personal results with the store that I'm running right now. Now, I actually started running the ads on November 19th, but that specific campaign, I ended up just getting rid of it and I created an entire new campaign. I just made a mistake with that campaign, which I'm gonna explain in this campaign, but basically I started running the ads on this campaign on the 21st, okay? So on the 21st, as you can see, our CPMs were pretty good right off the bat, 28 bucks. Our click-through rate all was really good at 3%. Our unique outbound click-through rate was basically almost 2%, which is really, really good, okay? So these are the numbers you wanna go for, okay? You want your CPMs to be pretty low. Oh, and again, these numbers right here, the dollar signs are actually in Canadian dollars, okay? They're not in US dollars. So this is probably like 19 or 20 bucks US. So it's a really, really good CPM, okay? Now, for your click-through rate, you wanna make sure this is above 1%, okay? Ideally, be above 2%, but anything above 1% is what you're going for. And your unique outbound click-through rate, you wanna make sure this is above you know, 1% as well. Now, my cost per unique link click on the first day was about $1.84 Canadian. So this is about, I don't know, I think $1.30 US, $1.25 US. So it's a pretty good cost per link click, okay? Anything above $2, $2.50 is a bit high and I would probably turn off the ad, okay? Now scrolling over here, you can see we got about 183 content views. So 183 people came to the website. We got about 14 add to carts and only three purchases. Our purchase conversion value was about $350. Our return on ad spend was only 1.18. So I was not profitable on the first day. Okay. And I spent about $300 on that day as well. Now, just because you're not profitable on the first day does not mean you turn off the ad, does not mean you panic, does not mean the product doesn't work, does not mean anything. Okay. As long as you're getting some sort of purchases, even add to carts, that's a great sign. Okay. And I'm going to scroll back to the left over here and I'm going to go over the mistake I made with the first campaign. So as you can see over here under delivery, it says learning, okay? So what it says over here is learning phase progress, okay? And as you can see, it says your ads are being delivered, but our system is learning how to best deliver them. You may see changes in performance and higher costs during this time. Since performance is still stabilizing, avoid editing your ad set during the learning phase. And it says this process could take up to seven days, okay? So as you can see over here, it says purchases 34 out of 50. So Facebook needs about 50 purchases to optimize the exact audience they should go after and optimize your ad set to deliver it to the best of their ability and to actually stabilize your costs, okay? So after about 50 purchases, Facebook will know exactly who to target your ad to and who's most likely to convert and actually come to your website and make a sale, okay? So now on this ad set right now, I'm at 34 purchases out of 50, okay? Now the mistake I made on the first campaign was I rushed things, okay? On the first campaign, I had about 10 purchases out of the 50 and then I decided to scale the budgets way too quickly, okay? So again, I started with about $200 and then I went to $500 literally after a day, okay? And then as you can see over here, it says avoid editing your ad set during the learning phase. And the reason why it says this is because if you make drastic changes to the ad set, so if you increase the budget from 200 to 500, that's a drastic change. And what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna reset this learning phase, okay? So if you had 10 purchases out of 50, it's gonna go back to zero out of 50 and Facebook's gonna restart the learning phase, okay? So basically what's gonna happen is your ad set is going to restart and Facebook is gonna restart from scratch trying to find the best audience for your specific product. So once that happened, my ad set restarted and then basically that campaign just tanked, okay? Because Facebook couldn't build on that momentum of the first 10 purchases anymore, okay? So that's the mistake I made and that's why I had to create this new campaign, okay? So now if we scroll over here and we go to the next day, so if we go to November 22nd and click update, you can see over here we had a great, great day, okay? So we had about 212 content views, 20 ads to cards, we had 10 purchases, we had a 7.6 return on ad spend, okay? Which is insane. That's like a really, really good return on ad spend. Extremely profitable on this day, okay? And I only spent about $245 Canadian, which is under $200 US. So again, that's why it's really important not to turn off your ads after the first day because again, Facebook is learning. They're optimizing. They don't know exactly who the purchases are. They don't know exactly who are the best people to target yet. They're learning, they're trying, and they're gonna bring you the results as they come in, okay? So that's the second day. Now, the third day on the Saturday, we got eight purchases, 22 add to carts, and our return on ad spend was about 3.63. Again, this is normal. Facebook literally told us that our performance is gonna fluctuate during these days, okay? But even a 3.63, that's really, really good. That's like a great return on ad spend. That's very profitable. So for every dollar I'm giving Facebook, I'm getting $3.63 back, okay? So that's really, really good and extremely profitable as well. Now, if we go to the 24th, which was yesterday, again, we did about 24 add to carts. 430 content views, 
1.39 return on ad spend, which again is really, really good, very profitable. And I actually spent more money yesterday. I spent about $440 Canadian. Now, during the learning phase, you can actually increase your budget by 15%, I would say, a day without any issues and without triggering the learning reset, okay? So that's what I've been doing because I'm trying to get the learning phase completed so that I can actually start pumping the budget and scaling the ads aggressively, okay? And then if we go to today, today we already have two purchases like I showed you guys earlier and we're at about a 9.87 return on ad spend, which is just crazy. Now, I don't think this is gonna sustain throughout the entire day, but again, this is for every dollar I'm giving Facebook, I'm getting about $10 back, okay? Which is just crazy and very, very profitable and we spent about $33 today so far. So on the new campaign, we've done about 34 purchases. I've spent about $1,352 Canadian, which is about $1,000 US with a 3.76 return on ad spend, okay? So that's really good and again, Facebook is still optimizing this ad set. Once we are out of the learning phase over here, once we actually get this to 50 purchases, Facebook's gonna be fully optimized with this ad set. I'll be able to increase the budget aggressively and actually be able to scale the campaign and remain very, very profitable, okay? So now we're inside my true profit dashboard. So this is literally shows us my entire P&L, so entire profit and loss, exactly how much profit we made, okay? So if you look at today, we were at three orders. So we actually just got an order as I was actually filming this, which is pretty cool. So we can see that today we're at three orders. We've done about $321 in revenue. Total cost is about $228. Our net profit is about $93. And we are at a net profit margin of about 30%, which is really, really healthy and really, really good in the drop shipping space, okay? So as you can see, we're not just making sales, we're actually making profit as well. Now, if we wanna go over from when I started the store on the 19th till today, we've done about 45 orders, about $4,700 in revenue, and this is US here, by the way. Our total cost is about 3,888, with a net profit of $817 and a net profit margin of 18%, okay? Now, what's important to remember here is that when I started running ads on this specific account, I actually tested multiple different designs, okay? So I have the one winning design right now, but I tested a couple other designs as well, in which I spent about an extra two to $300 there as well, okay? So this total ad spend over here actually includes that basically wasted ad spend that I spent on the other, you know, losing designs as well, okay? But for this specific winning design, I actually only spent about $900, maybe $1,000 US on ads. So this will bring our net profit to about 1,120 US dollars. And that would bring our net profit margin up to about 24%, which is really, really healthy and really good in dropshipping, especially as Facebook is still optimizing our ads, okay? Now from here, what I plan on doing is actually increase my average order value, okay? So I'm thinking of ways to bundle this product. I'm thinking of ways of how I can get people to add more products to their cart. I'm thinking of ways of how I can add upsells so that I can increase this net profit margin going into the back end of the year, okay? And with that, I do plan on releasing an update video to this video in about four weeks time after Q4 is over, after I've scaled this entire product, after hopefully I've made a lot more money than this, I will reveal the product, I'll reveal the ads, I'll reveal the store, everything, just so you guys can see how simple this has been and how easy it has been as well, okay? So with that being said, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments section down below. Make sure to check out the links in the description and I'll see you guys all in the next one.